carry on from what I did before. All looking good. It's now time yep. for the core of your work. Running very well. We're going to practice taking and delivering wagons of goods. All right. Sounds good to me. European uh, companies and cities forest. rely on the goods. Let's open the station panel now. Station panel. The station panel contains all uh, of the necessary logs. information to okay. plan out your journeys. Had to pick up planner. Take a look <laughs> There's no time limit. Close the tablet. There we go. This dwarf signal may be cute. Request station access. Necessary signal to watch. If you want so to avoid we'll press a one. being on a station without one. A there we go. After gaining station access, the station will provide set you navigation to pick tracks. up track point. Let's go to the pickup track. There we go. Pick up track. So we press uh, press Q to change that. I am gonna turn that music off because it's quite annoying. Uh, we're definitely gonna turn radio off. Don't want the stream muted, do we? <laughs> be a bit pointless all right so let's start moving let's start shifting this thing nice and simple w uh, to set the speed up a to uh, s to set it down e for brakes d to break down space is emergency brake r's reverse uh, it's uh, pretty simple q to change tracks like that Pretty simple, and that's what I like about it. Not overly complicated like uh, Train Simulator. That game just ugh, boggles my brain. <laughs> so speed limit's fifty round here, but we're not far off, so there's no point, uh, no point gunning it. It's just round corner here. Now I've been, now we're having a problem of this thing not taking me to right lines. I hope it's took me to right line this time. So we'll ease off the throttle and we'll start putting some brakes on. Go right to end because it's going to be quite a long uh, quite a long set of carriages if I remember rightly. Alright, a bit more brake. See where we are. Yeah, it'll do. Let's put emergency brake on. And decoupling. So let's enter coupling mode. Alright. Put them on the track. E to couple them. Left. This will spawn them Finish. and allow you to go there we well. Go. Let's use this service center to turn around. Okay, we we'll do before. that. Let's take the brakes off. Ooh, a lot of weight on there now. You can feel it. Three, three, uh, three wagons. So we're heading to this service centre up here, we can uh, turn train around at the service centre. I wish there were an animation for turning train around, but unfortunately there's not. It'd be cool if there were, but there isn't. Oh, we're going to need some brakes on here. Let's get some pretty harsh brakes on. There we go, that'll do it. So if you use the emergency brake, it'll actually damage your train. So uh, that's why I just put the brakes up a bit higher, regular brakes. So we're going to go to utilities and we're going to reverse the train. There we go, it's flipped it round. Let's take these logs to a sawmill so they can be processed into lumber. Open your map and select the sawmill icon. As you can see, there were no... Uh, there were no animation for turning train round. I wish there were. Be very cool, but meh. Can't have everything, can we? 
right sawmill I think I remember this problem before how did I fix it how did I fix this problem reset filters no huh how did I fix this problem before it's not really a game problem guys it's a it's a player problem <laughs> I can't remember how I fixed it before Tell you what we can do. We'll just get ourselves out of here. And then we just need to take the leftmost track. Ah, that's how I fixed it. You go to no root set. Then click the sawmill. And then what you can do is no, oh, no, we can't do it yet. Not until we're closer, I don't think. Right, well, let's get out of here. Let's make moves. Let's make moves instead of standing still. That's a cool little camera view. Alright, so speed limit's 50, so I'll uh, get a bit of speed up. I'll give it about 50% throttle. Then I'll ease off a bit when we get going. So, doesn't really matter what track I'm on, to be fair. We'll keep it to right, just in case it wants us to do that. Ease off that throttle a little bit. off a little bit more we're going to lose access to the forest in a second so now can we change nope I think it's once we get into place we can change it to the um drop off track we'll see we'll see when we get there i'll see you when you get there <laughs> i reckon we can speed up a little bit so it does have a tolerance oh no it's 60 now anyway so let's go let's gun it boys let's gun it There, you no longer have access to forests, so I think maybe now. Nope, still won't let me select the uh, delivery track. Hmm. Must have to get closer. Must have to get closer to the sawmill. Got a gradient coming up. Flashing yellow lights. I don't even know what they mean, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not a train driver, guys. Still got all this to learn. Did I not put some braking on there? I didn't, did I? Never mind, we're still doing a decent speed. So I can even go up one, I reckon. Runs buttery smooth, this game. Even when streaming. I think even when I first ever tried it, it was so well optimised. Right, so now. Nope. Still can't look at that, um. the thingy track. Great work on getting to the sawmill. Oh, we got a request access. access to the station, there we go. To the delivery track. 
where we can decouple these there weapons. we go drop off track now it let us do it you got to request access first so cool right let's drop this uh, throttle down a little bit okay this is telling us right is the good way to go but all right yeah because we're on this line I see I see I see I see right, what's this doing I requested access. What do you mean? How do I get rid of that? Ah, press A again. Cool. Alright, so we're heading right way to drop up drop drop off track. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's have a bit of throttle. It's coming nice and slowly. We could change it to miles per hour, but obviously not. Right, now we'll drop off that throttle. We can start applying some brakes. Mm, not too much. Go ten percent. All right. I think this will do. Sit some more brakes. And we're at a complete stop. So, oh, got to put emergency brake on before you can decouple. Cool. Let's do that. Finish this decoupling, and you're set. Right. Eat your decouple. Confirm delivery. Finish. Great. Uh, hey. Every wagon helps grow your company. So we've got so two thousand euros for to that. Maximize your profits and progress. This game to me it's kinda like um ATS and Euro Truck, but trains instead. <laughs> it's like you're building your company and stuff as well. Cool game. Very cool game. Cargo is one thing, but people are less forgiving and far more sensitive to bad driving. Let's learn how to transport them safely. Okay. So, what train have we got now? Looks like we've got a nice one. Let's have a look. Ooh, look at that. Reminds me of a bullet train. Right, request station access from Thiendorf South. Okay, Thiendorf South. Request access. Sorry, but we are not your designated route. Over. Ha! Huh. Strange. Huh. So I've got to go to the service station here. Where's the service station? It's on the rightmost line. Alright, let's get moving. The end of south entrance. Well, I requested access, but... The denied, so I don't know what that's going to do to me, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. I 
wonder what it's making us go to the service station for. You learn how to deliver passengers from one station to another. Start by going to the nearest service centre. Don't forget to ask for station access before you enter the station area. I did that, but they denied me. And it's not telling me what we're going to the service station for. I'm sure we'll find out, though, if we don't derail. <laughs> Let's get some brakes on. Probably turn around, I guess. You have to repair the train. Ah, right. That explains things. Welcome to the stream, Jimmy. How are you doing? Not all locomotives are meant for transporting cargo. Some are commuter locomotives and are only designed to transport huh? passengers. Oh, no, I've got to add wagons, postage. apparently. Oh. The service centre allows us to add or remove wagons for these trains. Add wagons. Try doing so now. Add three passenger wagons. So one, two, three. And at least one postage wagon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Exit the service centre. Right. So has it done it? Must have done right. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, it's done it. So where's where's the postage wagon then? Want to see it? I want to see it. Ah, never mind. Open the world map. All right. Selecting stations on the map will allow you to set up a route, and it will automatically inform those stations. Add the and south. intend to take goods from them to another station. Add the and north. Right. You can set up your route by selecting stations on this map. Selected stations will be aware of your route and will take it into account in their timetables. If you want, you can also click apply to GPS to have this route stored in your map and minimap. Apply to GPS. What? Where? Route planner? Alright, yeah. Is that what it's wanting me to do? Apply to GPS. Did I not just do the same thing in the other screen? <laughs> right, close tablet. Unfortunately, we'll have to backtrack just a little bit, as the switches we need are behind us. Okay. Take note of where the marked platform is, then navigate to it slowly and carefully. So we want to be... Going right back and then going in middle left track. Okay, let's hit the reverser. Let's get some throttle up, take off the brake, and let's move. Oof, the weight on here now. Did you catch that animal, Jimmy? Did you kill its ass? Or is it going to be another mountain white fish? <laughs> Got him. Nice. Trophy. Got a skill point too. Oh, nice. What did you put it into? Well, what am I doing here? Let's put some brakes on. So this will take us to the middle line, right? Wait, why can't I switch the tracks? Hang on. Probably need to go a bit further back. Tracking level 2. Ah, nice. I think that's what I put mine into as well. Nope. Why can't I switch the track? Hmm. Ah, there we go. I just change reverser. <laughs> Alright. Let's go 20%. Take the brakes off. Moving nice and slowly. Nice and slow. 
Yeah, if we stay on this one, it'll take us straight to where we need to be. Oh, we don't want to go left. We want to go straight. Straight away. You can hear sirens. Right, let's knock off that throttle. I hope you can see passengers getting on and all that. Oh, see passengers on platforms. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll tell him to set it to there. Oh, I didn't see that, so I've come at the wrong place anyway. Yeah, I didn't see that. It will tell him to go to that. This is why you should take notice at tutorials, guys. I did not see that. So we're going to have to go back again. <laughs> Never mind, we'll get it. We're having fun along the way. No, that's wrong way. We'll get it, guys. Don't you worry. Yeah, so we just needed to be on the next track, really. That's all we needed. We'll stick ourselves back here. Uh, we've got to go right back to the switch. Start putting some brakes on. And some wheel slip, but it's okay. Right, change that reverser, change the track, throttle up, brakes down. Got it this time. <laughs> we got it this time. You don't have to use keyboard as well, guys. You can uh, use buttons in here. I have to use that all. Wait, why is it telling me to go over there again? Passenger boarding track. What? Oh, so it's the one at the other side. I see. I get ya, I get ya, I get ya. Just let it roll a bit and then I'll start applying some brakes. Alright, start applying brakes now. Coming into platforms. The 1020 train on platform 2. <laughs> yeah, it won't fire off, alright, it's 9 o'clock. I didn't even notice time. <laughs> Hello, lady. Are you the only one waiting? <laughs> and there we go. Nice, easy if stop. If the emergency brakes engaged, you can open the doors and begin the process. Passengers will get off as needed. 
and then get okay. on as desired. Remember, so, this is based on the GPS route you've set up. Let's see if we can actually see them getting on and off. So how do I open the doors? Uh, enable emergency brakes, open the doors with F. Okay. Let's see what happens to that woman back there. See if she actually gets on. A bit far away from platform, aren't we? It's a hell of a gap, is that? <laughs> oh, come on, game. You don't even see doors open. Oh, that's a shame. Come on. That's a real shame, is that? Could have been done so much better. Although I can't really see back there. Nah, the doors are definitely not open. The woman's still stood there. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Train Sim World has it beat on that. Switch to a rear-facing cabin or locomotive. Try doing so now, as the commuter train you're in will be much easier to drive this way. Let's get to the final station on our journey. There we go, we'll switch cabin. So, let's go back to inside camera. Total immersion. Right, drive towards Theandorf North. Okay, there we go, I've just change GPS to the north 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 the <laughs> it's not easy to say that guys the north north all right let's pull this down let's make a nice easy uh, nice easy pull out that's what she said one per day Nice and easy. Oh, wow. That's long, Jimmy. <laughs> You're trying to make me derail. <laughs> Fought with my service provider today. A newcomer rebate offer, which is in 300, 300 megabyte 30. They refused to give the upgrade from 200 megabyte fee. That's the which we're paying for now. She went to offices, complained that they were going to leave. We got a competing ISP. They just sent us an email that they're going to upgrade our line to 300 MB of 2023 starting in September and going rate 37 e monthly. <laughs> That's exactly what I do, Jimmy. They put the price up, I ring them, say, ah, oh, no, it's too much now. And then they put the price back down. <laughs> it's got to be done. Stupid companies thinking they can charge you more and more every time. It's awesome, yep. Anybody that doesn't know that trick, they've never lived. <laughs> A lot of learning to do. Got to do it like once a year. Put price up every year, I knock them back down. <laughs> like, right, you're not going to put it down, I'm leaving then. You get a call back next day. Oh, I hear you, you're uh, wanting to cancel your services, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, I can give you this deal. Uh, yeah, all right, nice one. <laughs> Got to be done. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them wheels a rolling. Something, something rolling. This train. <laughs> Righty ho, we are on our way to Theandorf North. I'll pay in 37 for 200, now I'll be at 300 for a year, which would have cost us 50 euro a month. Yeah, you got a well better deal now. Although that's still on pricey side. Announce your arrival and drop off these passengers 
to finish this phase of your exam. Cause, you um, to do, engineer. Let's get these passengers where they need to go. I only pay, I think, 34 a month for uh, gigabyte download and upload speed. So it's still a bit pricey. Grease for you. <laughs> yeah. You think we're going to derail on corner? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's an 80, 80 kilometer speed limit. So I think we're alright. It is going to drop down to 60, but I'm already at 60, so that's cool. Flashing yellow means speed limit's dropping right. I think it does, I just remembered. <laughs> just remembered. Oh, it switched tracks. Get a little bit of speed up, I think. Not too much though, because uh, we're coming in at the station. Oh, I'm putting brakes up like an idiot. <laughs> Meant to be putting speed up. Sirens again as we come into the city. Alright, let's ease off that uh, throttle. Let's come in nice and easy. Oh wow, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Shit. I didn't change it. Passenger boarding track. Yep, I've come the wrong way. Oh wow, when am I ever going to get used to that? <laughs> It'll happen eventually. Right, set reverser back. Let's get some throttle up. Let's get the hell out of here. I'll get used to it guys. It'll just take a little bit of getting used to doing that every time you come in. I did the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's just remembering to change that GPS, isn't it, with the uh, full stop key. Yes, that's what it's all about. So if you don't change that, you just think you're on uh, on the right path. Alright, set the reverser to the proper place this time. Let's try and. Yep, there we go, let's reset. Alright, get some speed up, brake off. And away we go! Mm. I've just noticed, Jimmy, I've got a sub point. What's a sub point? Don't know what they are. Don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. Uh, we'll come in with about 10%. They've improved the graphics tremendously since I played last month. Yeah, graphics are quite nice, to be fair. Quite nice graphics. One subscriber. No, it says it says one subscriber, then it says next to it one sub point. So I don't know what that is. Let's get our ass ending. Let's have some breaks. Nice, uh, smooth stop. 
Open the doors. Call Twitch rep. You're my Twitch rep, Jimmy. <laughs> Delivery complete. Gained 86 experience and 6,184 euros. Hey, not bad. Close the doors. And there we go. That's that done. Bom, bom. I hope I keep this money. This tutorial money. Okay. Next scenario, I guess. Let's do this. Let's do this. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Didn't think Keep that was them it, wheels of rolling. There's more than one locomotive in the world, and you are destined to own them all. Well, all right. only if you can afford them, that is. Enter a service centre by a locomotive. Right, center. where's the service centre? Ooh. Left and left and right. Yep. Can I set? Ah, yeah, I can set GPS to it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's bloody go. Not like this train. I like the bullet train better. Next speed limit, 120 kilometers an hour. Wow. Round here? Seriously? <laughs> That's some speed. I uh, just wish I could change it to miles per hour. I don't know these kilometers. Career mode, you would have been fine. You'd have permission to be here. Well, it didn't. It didn't tell me to ask for permission. Could have got in the habit of doing that as well. I'll keep getting fined every time. I get fined every time. I make a rhyme. It's a crime. <laughs> yeah, let's put some brakes on. Put some brakes on here. Oh, come on, don't derail. No! Oh, wow. <laughs> that were a close call. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that. That were a close call. I think I might have actually hit the buffer, to be honest. <laughs> but I didn't hit it fast enough to derail, so that's what they're there for. So lucky. I think I hit it, Jimmy. I heard sound, but as long as you don't hit them too fast, you don't derail. It's, uh, that's what they're there for, isn't it? So you can just tap into them and uh, stop your train. So I sent this service centre then, uh, when it'll let me. Huh? I'm in the right spot. Hit it and bounce back. Yep, I think that's what happened. Come on, I'm in the right spot. Oh, really? I had to move like a millimetre back just to enter the thing. Fine. <laughs> right, so what do you want me to do? Welcome to the last tutorial, engineer. You'll learn the basics of company management and planning cargo deliveries. The first step when growing a train company is to have more trains. Locomotives can be purchased in service centers. Buy a loco. Okay. Fix all first. Is it? Is it even damaged? How do you tell if it's damaged? I guess if it wasn't damaged, it wouldn't need fixing, right? So we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Right, buy locomotives. So... How much money have I got? Where's my money? Ha! Huh, where's my money? Is this all at the top of it? Where's my money? Where is my balance? Hmm. 
Ooh, can I follow this one? Ah, right, same train. All right, fair enough. Buy it then. You're not alone with your company. Open the employee list by a driver. Uh, a helper to perform a delivery for us while we perform our own. Ooh, your customize. List gives you a oh wow! Overview of where they are <laughs> and what they're doing. If there's an empty slot, you can click on it to open the hiring window. Hire any driver that suits you. I want a digital clock. On the dash, that'd help. Piece of pizza. Oh, I wish there were a quicker way to get through these. Now you can use arrow keys, I guess. Same as clicking like, but uh, you can do it. 20 grand for a clock. You off your head, mate. It's too small to even see it properly anyway. Get out of here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But we're going to have the dragon. Nah. Yeah. So is that the only customization? What about, like, the paint jobs and whatever else? Is that it? What? Upgrades. Engine. Bogies. Chassis fuel tank. Huh. So where do I go to these? Um, well, I better refuel as well, aren't I? Where do I go to these employees then? Open the company tab in your tablet and view a list of employees. It's empty right now, but because you're hicked, hig, higged enough level, <laughs> there are some open slots for hiring, so I hire someone. So, employee list? No. Tablet? Company. Employee list. Empty slot. Uh, I don't know any of these. Oh, there we go. Max task energy. Event handling, wagon limit, max intermediate points. Well, they all have the same skills. Hmm. That's weird. So is there nothing to differentiate him? He looks old enough that he won't live very long, so I'm not hiring him. Uh, we'll get Paul Walker. Why not? 3,000. Are they all 3,000? No. Uh, we'll have Paul Walker then. Go on. You'll have to supply your employees with equipment as well as money for fuel and service. Assign a locomotive to your new driver. Why do I recognise this voice? Is it the guy off Little Big Planet? Employees don't come with their own locomotives. That would make live much easier. But what can you do? Well, that's what the locomotive purchase was for. Open the driver's details screen. Driver's details. Yeah, I'm not sure where to find that. Huh. Not sure where to find driver's details screen. Ah, there we go. Small white circle numbers for each skill. That's how employees differ. Oh, right, this. Oh, wow. I didn't see it when it was small, but it's old Paul Walker. <laughs> All right, so we can equip a locomotive, right? That's the one we just bought. Now we can click on the driver to view their details or set up a task. We're going to do the latter. Right. No. Accept the configuration. Create task. On the task creation map, 
you can see the stations that you have unlocked, which is done by visiting the stations yourself at least once. Clicking on stations will add or remove them from the route. Set up a route now between the coal mine well, and the power plant. I can't see properly because this is in the way. Choose cargo transportation mode. Cargo. Coal. So the coal mine is the origin station. That one? Yeah. Power plant is destination. I can't see for that. That's stupid. Is that it? Yeah. There are other options you can choose in the future, such as having the employee continue doing the task. Yeah, confirm the, the task. Delivery. Reserve Shut contracts up. are an important part of strategically planning your routes. Cargo contracts Open that are the coal mine station panel. Normally would, allowing huh? you to reserve the best contracts for your needs. Coal mine. Ah, open station panel, there we go. Reserve a contract. Mm. Well, they're both coal, aren't they? <laughs> to any power plant. Wait, delivery, contract. Reserve a contract. So that's, yeah. So how do you do these then? Just pick it up anywhere. The more freestyle kind of jobs. Right. Reserved. Let's drive to the coal mine and pick up the contract we reserved. Don't forget to ask for station access. And as you drive, so do your employees. Dai Kais Noodle, welcome to stream. How are you doing? Just started? Yeah, just started. When your employees Still in tutorial at the moment. An update will appear on the HUD, telling you how much money and experience they earned from their task. All right, drive to the coal mine. Right. Yeah, cool. So, let's hit the reverser. Let's switch ends of the train. The coal mine is the uh, objective. A scene is released. I want to see something. <laughs> yeah, it just got released recently. Well, full release. Right, drive to the coal mine. Did you play other train sim? Um, I've played Train Sim World Two, and I've played Train Simulator. Played them, uh, played them both. Alright, we have to switch again for the next uh, junction. I like this one though, how it's more uh, freeform kind of missions. Once you get out of tutorials. It's more kind of free roaming. I think the interfaces and stuff on Train Sim World and Train Simulator were a bit too complicated for me. That's why this one's nice and easy. Call in to let them know you come in to pick up delivery. Oh, the coal mine. Uh, I haven't got the coal mine on there yet. I have to get closer first, what? Really interested how the company management work and how deep it is. Yeah, that's what I like about it. It's kind of like um, Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator, but it's trains. <laughs> that's what I like about this one. Actually got a company. I still need to learn what all signals mean, but yeah. <laughs> Really just wish I could change it to miles per hour though. Ooh, 
it's 120. All right, fair enough. Let's whack some speed up. <laughs> oh, we got next speed limit drop. Oh, well, we're all right. We're not doing it anyway. I'll be cool with it if I can just manage without self-driving. <laughs> I think you, I think you might be able to. Not 100% sure because I've just started myself, but I think you can. You can set your uh, employees on tasks, can't you? So I don't think you have to drive. Oh, speed limit drop. That were a big drop. It didn't tell me that. Let's ease off of that. Let's get a bit of braking going on. And we need to switch track. Don't think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think you don't think you have to drive. I think if you're just in the game, your employees can do the tasks. So it dropped for the uh, downhill, and then speed limit's gone back up again now. How far away were we? Not far. I wonder if we can request access now. Yep. There we go. Navigate to the track and pick up the wagons. Pick up the wagons. So pick up track. Good job I noticed that at that time. Start putting some brakes on, I think. Got plenty of track, but... The sooner we stop, the less we have to go back. Alright. Take the contracted wagons. If I press the correct key, that would uh, probably help. Right, there we go, put on tracks, couple them up, finish. It's time to put everything you've learned to the test. Drive to the steel mill to the steel station. Steel mill, steel mill, steel mill. There it is. Oh, we've still got that thing on, haven't we? It won't let me turn it off. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Steel mill, there we go. Eh! Oh, it told me how to do this a minute ago, didn't it? Hang on. No. Nope. Right, steel mill. No, it's not that. Mind you, not that I can see. Mm. Oh, I have to remove this one, though. Where? How the hell do I remove it? Ah, oh, do you know what? I'll uh, sort out in a minute. Driving backwards at the moment, yep. I will be driving forwards now. Switch position. Right, let's go nice and slow, see if we can figure this uh, map out. I think it'll let me off of this once I get out of this uh, coal mine.
Once it says we've lost access to the coal mine, we should be able to change the GPS. out of there so now we should be able no nope. still not yet no we've not lost access yet yeah. I need to see where we're going though because this thing's gonna uh, it's trying to take me all over the place what is it doing how do I reset the GPS so I don't want that and I don't want that but it won't Oh, jeez. Confused. What does that do? Don't know, because I can't see it for tutorial. Well, either way, we want to go left. We don't want to be going that way. We want to go left. Can I change it yet? No. Can I request access to the steel mill yet? No, I can't. Alright, now can we change it? No. How do you just completely remove a GPS waypoint? Huh. Nope, oh, no idea. We should have to make us own way there. How annoying. Don't think it matters what line we're on at the moment. Nah, don't matter what line we're on. Still a little bug, buggy. Uh, yeah, there's probably a reason for it, but you know, it's probably a way to clear the GPS. But I don't know what it is. Any idea how to clear the GPS, Jimmy? Let's get some speed up. Can't remember. No, that's it. Just it won't let me uh, completely clear it. No. Ah well, we'll get there the good old-fashioned way, guys. We'll find his own way there. Looks like we'll have to. <laughs> oh, I can request access now though. There we go. So now... There we go, drop off track. Why it wouldn't let me do it before though, I, I don't know. Let's ease off at throttle a little bit. And then speed goes back up. Just fuck curve, I think. Next speed limit is 60, so if we just stay roughly 60, should be fine. Switch track. Wait, it says request station access. I've already done that. 
steel mill request access awaiting my arrival why did I have to do it twice I want the drop off track We're on the right heading, I think, at least. We are heading the right way. How can you do 120? There's a bend coming up. Ah, let's get some speed up. Never mind. <laughs> Might as well try it. Remember when I said that as you drive, so do your employees? Well, yeah. you'll have to drive above a certain speed, depending on your chosen difficulty. Uh, feel free to turn that off, though, if it doesn't suit your playstyle. No judgments here. Right. Drop down to 70. We're prepared for that quite nicely, then. If I do say so myself. So our objective now is just finish the contract. Okay. Cool. Oof, you gotta be quick with switching them lines. You gotta be watching that GPS. Right. Let's start having a little bit of breaks. Bring it to a nice smooth stop. Bit more brakes. And we have arrived at the steel mill. One more on brakes, that should bring us to a nice stop. There we have it. Emergency brake on. Let's decouple. I see to decouple, confirm delivery, and finish. Both you and your employer did great work with your deliveries. It's been great to see you in action, engineer. Good luck with your company. But I have a feeling you won't need it. How did we end up over here? Game must have just reset us over here. <laughs> Alright, open world map. Open the employee list. Uh, that's in company, right? Employee list. Driver details screen. Yeah. Close the tablet. Right. <laughs> okay. So what, do I have to keep assigning him tasks? Let's give him a task then. Oh no, we didn't tutorial map out with us. Not much point. There we go. Go to Korea. Engineer. You've completed your engineer's exam with flying colours. And you're now ready to take the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. Okay. While the vast network of rails ahead may seem daunting, consider that the reprimand for driving slowly is less severe than the one for hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. When in doubt, relax and take your time. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like during your exam, the nice fit multiplayer are constantly in need of Isn't this you I meant to disappear when I've got a cutscene? more than that, <laughs> there are thousands of people and parcels Don't make much sense, does transportation it? between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, I've heard that cities give the more uh, accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend. But uh, don't go repeating it. All right. I've seen a lot of students over the years, but I've got to admit... But you're graduating at an exciting time. Take chances, strategize your deliveries, and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest railway transportation companies. Okay. 
I shall do that. Or I'll try. <laughs> so it's left me in London. Let's have a look at London then. Oh yeah, it does look distinctly different. Nice. Pretty cool. Right, so let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look at the company now. We haven't got stupid tutorial, haven't we? Ah, oh, don't have any employees. That was just for the thing. Hmm. Okay, then no contracts available. What? Huh. All right, let's, let's go into London Warehouse then, I guess. <coughs> huh, they've got nothing for me to transport. Hmm. Interesting. They don't have anything for me. Power plant? No, they don't have all at the moment. So it's like an industry game as well, isn't it? you got to... Uh, there's passengers, but I don't have a passenger. Uh, I don't have passenger cars at the moment. Oh, this is a little bit confusing. Those scenarios as well. Cool. Nah, I want to get my company going. Do you like the name at company, Jimmy? But yeah, it's a bit, a bit confusing, isn't it, all this? It just throws you into it head first, and you're like, what? What, you don't like name at company? <laughs> Deray Link. So why is there nothing for me to pick up, then? What's going on? Why is there nothing for me to pick up? Maybe power plant? No. Steel mill? No, producing nothing. They're producing mail, but I'm going to have to go buy a mail car, aren't I, if I want to do that? Huh. Check what freight you can get. Uh, how do I do that? From other cities. So I've got cities. All says none out of ten. All says none out of uh, whatever. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Let's see if we can move back to this uh so we can go to warehouse. Why will it let me choose the pickup track? Oh I'm mega confused already. Station operator here. Huh. Bloody confusing, mate. Bloody confusing. So, wants me to go all the way up there to come back here? No. I am not doing that. I'm just going to go back on the track. Let's have a look. Wait, I can change that. No, drop off track. I want the pickup track, you plonker.
Right. Let's just go see if there's all up here. Because it's kind of confusing how it says there's nothing at any place. Kind of damn confusing. But I bet when I go there, they'll have something. Alright, make sure we're still on the right track. Uh, yep, yeah, we want to... If it stopped lagging in map, that'd help. Yeah, uh, stay on this track. Double check. Right, it looks like here we are on the wrong line. So we want to go left and then we're going to have to go back. Oy, confusing. Wait, what? What is going on here? I'm mega confused. Right. Brakes. Hit the reverser. Confusing. So it says right there London Warehouse, but I'm not getting any option to do anything. I'm getting no option to do anything. Ugh, lost already, seriously. Bloody lost already. Hey, Deadbeat Pete, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? Right, set a GPS to there. So confusing. Chilly man, gaming so young, so figured I'd look, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Appreciate the support. So what what are you playing at the moment? Let's get our asses out of here. Mom is I uh, hooked on Project Zomboid again. <laughs> That's one of them games, isn't it? You get hooked on it and then you die and you're like, ugh. And you don't play it for like six months and then you play it again, you get hooked on it again. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> I 
Uh, did that just tell me to switch too late, or can I switch a bit further up? Uh, no, nope, can switch up here, cool. Sure, we had a good stretch, like, almost a year ago, then my brother bought it on sale, now we're all hooked in. <laughs> it is, it's one of them games, it just, uh, it keeps you coming back to it. Alright, please have some contracts here. Oh, request access. You're clear to arrive. No, all, it'll only let me go to drop off track. What the hell? Don't understand. I'm shooting shit's maxed out. Uh, one second. Let me just get this down. Maxed out walking around cooking zombies. <laughs> this game looks wild as hell. I didn't know you actually moved the train. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool game if I can ever figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> so I don't understand why there's no no jobs. It's really confusing me. We'll see what's in the service centre. I want to check out that train game made by the artist that worked on Factorio. Oh, what game is that now? Um, yeah, I can't remember the name either, but I know what you mean. I know which game you mean. Look, BRB, sorry, making dinner. <laughs> no worries. Nah, see, I can't get... What is going on? Homie bought it and he loves it. Yeah, I know which game you mean. It looks good. But I can't remember the name of it either. It's it's going to drive me crazy that I can't remember the name. Oh, I don't understand. Do I have to switch to cargo mode? Is that the problem? Because, like, why am I, why am I going to be in passenger mode when... I can't seem to buy any... passenger cars. See, I can't... I think that might be it, you know. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Yeah, I think I've got to change to cargo mode. Select that. Sweet Transit, that's the name. Yep, yeah, that's the one, I think. I think that's the one. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> You can only do freight for now. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was set to passenger. That's probably why nothing was popping up at the uh, at the stations. It's like if it knows you've got a freight train, why set it to passenger? It makes no sense whatsoever. I do graffiti, so I absolutely love trains. Don't know a ton about them like some armies do. But... Oh, nice. You're gonna be the next uh, next Banksy. <laughs> A lot of rules we're doing graph on trains. Alright, now hopefully when we go over here we should be able to pick some up. I'm hoping. If we get onto the pickup line. No, it still only lets me go to the drop-off track. What is going on? 
Why will it not let me go to the pickup line? And Fatal Error games crashed. There, yeah, that's that's just brilliant game. That's just brilliant. Ah, absolutely great. <laughs>